Hey, it's Bluebird. If you're interested in distilling, brewing, or the drinks industry, then this is the channel to subscribe to. Now, fake alcohol is a serious issue in the drinks industry. Between 2010 and 2016, the HMRC seized 50 million liters or 106 million pounds in revenue worth of fake alcohol. In a previous video, I talked about current methods to authenticate whiskey. And I've linked that video above, and I'd start by watching that video if you haven't already. In this video, we're going over new research which is being done to root out fake whiskeys. So let's get to it! The most expensive bottle of whiskey ever sold was a Macallan Fine and Rare 60 year old 1926, which sold on Thursday, October 24th, 2019 for a whopping 1.45 million pounds at auction. With whiskey commanding such jaw dropping prices, it's no surprise that fraudsters are trying to get in on the action. Like many other quality goods industries, the Scotch whiskey industry has issues with counterfeits and adulterations. There's a team at Glasgow University who are working on an artificial tongue. The tongue is made up of 2 million tiny nanoscale squares which serve as artificial taste buds. There are six different types of these squares. Three types are made of gold and the other three from aluminium. While one of the gold type and aluminium type squares are left bare, the other types of squares are coated in different chemicals. When liquid is added to the tongue, the different metal squares absorb light differently, creating a unique fingerprint for each whiskey, which allows researchers to distinguish between different whiskeys. You could train your particular tongue to know what one of these whiskies tasted like so that when the fake stuff came along it could identify it and when the real stuff came along it could confirm that it was the real stuff, said Dr. Alistair Clark, the lead author of the research from the University of Glasgow. In other words, the tongue can be given many different brands of real whiskies to try so that it can create a whiskey profile database. Then, if you want to test if a sample of whiskey you have is real, you can take its profile and compare it to the whiskey profiles that are already in the database to check if it matches up. The team used the tongue to sample a selection of whiskies and it was able to pick out the subtle flavor differences between the same whiskey that was aged 12, 15, and 18 years old. It was over 99% accurate. Whiskey is a chemically complex mixture which is comprised of thousands of compounds which contribute to its color, flavor, and aroma. That's why so many techniques such as carbon dating, gas chromatography, and the artificial tongue require testing a small sample of whiskey to determine whether it's real or counterfeit. The drawbacks of these methods are, well, that you have to open up the bottle and take a sample of whiskey out. Whiskey, which you could have drank. Researchers at the University of St. Andrews have developed a new technique with laser to measure the authenticity of whiskeys, and it doesn't even require opening the bottle. The team used a method of laser spectroscopy to shine laser light through the bottle to analyze the contents. The whiskey will scatter the light into different colors. The exact colors of the scattered light will depend on the chemical makeup of the whiskey. While researchers at St. Andrews proved a decade ago that laser spectrometry can be used to find counterfeit whiskey, the process always required taking a sample of liquid from out of the bottle. The glass bottle that whiskey comes in will impact the test results since glass refracts light too. Glass bottles for whiskey are not standardized to a certain type or thickness. So researchers had to revise their methodology to make sure the type of glass and the differing thicknesses of glass bottles were accounted for and would not impact the test results for the liquid. 
In this new method, the team used a glass element to shape the light to produce a ring of laser light on the bottle surface and a tightly focused spot within the liquid contents. As the signal from the bottle and the signal from the liquid are at different positions, a detector can be placed to record only the signal from the liquid, meaning the bottle contents can be assessed without ever opening the bottle. Like laser spectroscopy, vibrational spectroscopy does not require that the bottle be opened and sampled from. Vibrational spectroscopy is the measurement of the interaction of infrared radiation with matter by absorption, emission, or reflection. What is infrared radiation? Well, it's a type of radiant energy that's invisible to the human eyes, but we feel as heat. All objects in the universe emit some level of IR radiation, but the two most obvious sources are the sun and fire. The interaction between IR radiation and matter can be used to study and identify chemical substances or functional groups in solid, liquid, or gaseous forms. Vibrational spectroscopy actually includes several techniques, but the most important are mid-infrared, MIR, near-IR, and IR, and Raman spectroscopy. MIR and Raman spectroscopy provide characteristic fundamental vibrations, which can be used to determine molecular structures inside a compound. How does this help us detect fake whiskies? Well, alcohol concentrations in genuine spirits in the UK are very tightly controlled. For example, Scotch whiskey must contain the alcohol percentage stated on the label to within 0.3% ABV, whereas forgeries don't typically have the same level of quality control, with alcohol being less than what's stated on the label. As well, methanol and many higher alcohols and heavy metals have regulations prohibiting their presence in spirits to within a maximum concentration to ensure safe consumption and are also tightly controlled. Forgeries, which aren't under the same level of scrutiny, can also have higher concentrations of these undesirables. So by using vibrational spectroscopy in addition to other techniques, we can determine the level of ethanol and methanol level in a bottle of whiskey, which can help determine whether the bottle of whiskey is real or fake. What do artificial tongues, vibrational tests, and laser beams all have in common? They can all be used to root out fake whiskies from real whiskies. I'd like to thank Sarah Fraser from the Borders Distillery for helping out with this video. In the meantime, please support the channel by giving this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more distilling and brewing videos. This is Brewbird, sending good vibes your way. I'll see you next time.